Good morning, friends. We are learning our subject that is data visualization 3160717. And in that, we are learning the module that is introduction to data visualization. Right. And while we were studying this, we wanted to have the rise in HTML file. Right. So this we wanted to know, but before understanding why the rise of HTML5 was there, we have started with the HTML5 syntax and what are the parts of it, right? So let us see that. So HTML5 and we have talked of history where you can say HTML5 was started in almost 2004, then the difference between HTML4 and 5, that is we can say that HTML5 is giving us better error handling as well as it is having more tags as well as it is having the multimedia tags, right? So let us go further. We have talked of a bit about doc type. Doc type is document type. And how it is being returned? That is less than exclamation doc type HTML. Then we may write this text or we only write, say, less than exclamation doc type HTML in angle brackets. That also is fine. If you want to write fully, you can write doc type HTML public and all this text we have talked of and system. Then after in double quotes, we are providing the DTD that is document type definition. How the structure of this particular document should be there. It is given in the rules that is specified in the streak dot. DTD, right? Character encoding, that is meta character set is equal to UTF-8. And this syntax is case sensitive, right? This syntax is case sensitive. So what is next? Script tag. In HTML4, we can use the script tag as script type is equal to text slash JavaScript. Source is equal to whatever is the JavaScript file and and the JavaScript tag that is there in HTML4. What is there in HTML5? For that, we can say we just have to write it as script src is equal to JavaScript file dot js. Right? So, and then after and script. You may not know or you know basics of JavaScript is fine. What is there? That is the script starting tag and and script tag. In between, we will be writing the JavaScript code, right? It may be the function, it may be the simple code or whatever, right? Next is the link tag. What is it useful for? It is used to link to style sheet. Style sheet is a sheet. It is not Excel sheet. It is a style sheet. A sheet which is having the rules for styles which we want to apply to our HTML document. 
For example, if I want that header tag H1 should be having the blue color only, it should have, say, red color only. So, so these things we can specify in the style sheet. What is the style for that particular tag? throughout the document where it is being applied fine so for such css that is the cascading style sheet file we can include that in html4 as link rel that is equal to style sheet type is equal to text slash css that is cascading style sheet and href that is the path of that particular file that is style sheet uh, style file dot css right now for this if we are writing href like this it means that it is here in the same folder as this particular html document but if we want that it should be any particular file which is available on internet we can be giving whole url like http www.ckpcet.ac.in slash co slash say style file dot css right so something like that we can write in html4 how we do write that in html5 link rel is equal to style sheet href is equal to style file dot css so if you have noticed the difference in html4 and html5 for link tag as well as for script tag this type is equal to text slash javascript and here type is equal to text slash css is being removed in html5 you can see here there is no type attribute available here. There is no type attribute available here also. Fine. Let us consider HTML5 elements. HTML5 elements are marked up using start tags and end tags. Tags are delimited using angle brackets with the tag name in between right that is always the case and slash is there right and tags include if it is and tag we are having slash before otherwise we do not have any slash fine so and tags include a slash before the tag name otherwise it is this way we can say this is start tag p is start tag and this is and tag right this we know in HTML4 also, right? HTML5 tag names are case insensitive convention is to use all lowercase. What do we mean to say is HTML5 tag names are case insensitive. But the convention is there to use all lowercase, right? HTML5 attributes elements may contain attributes it is used to set various properties of an element some attributes are defined globally and can be used on any element others are defined for specific elements only all attributes have a name and value attributes defined in css also Attributes may only be specified within the start text and must never be used in the end text. That is but obvious. End text will only have and and the tag name. Nothing more than that. Right. But start text can have the attribute names if it is having. Attributes are case insensitive. But the convention is to stick with the lowercase so what is there in html5 structure new tags 
are introduced in html5 for better structure so what do we say section what is that this tag represents a generic document or application section it can be used together with h1 to h6 to indicate the document structure article this tag represents an independent piece of content of a document such as a blog entry or newspaper article aside this tag represents a piece of content that is only slightly related to the rest of the page header this tag represents the header of a section header of section okay footer this tag represents a footer for a section and can contain information about author copyright information etc footer tag represents footer of section not of a page okay so after the section over we'll be able to see the footer of that okay nav that is navigation this tag represents a section of the document intended for navigation dialog this tag can be used to mark up a conversation figure this tag can be used to associate a caption together with some embedded content such as graphic or video so how they can be used in html5 let's see the example like say less than exclamation doc type html which is always the case for html5 files okay so that's what we have written then we are starting with the html head is there it is always preferred to have the head in html document meta tag that should contain the character set yes but it should have the information about keywords also that is by which these page will be identified by the web crawler or we can say search engine fine so that we should consider then after title that is a title of our html5 page that should be there see if you are not writing there is no syntax error no problem but it is preferred when we are designing website for any particular company what is the motto of that only to make website for particular company i mean to say that you just want to show the things online no you want that that particular website should be there in good rankings of google search isn't it so what should we do search engine google search engine or any other search engine should be able to should be able to search this page and for that not only the text what we are giving but 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 it should have the keywords they are being defined inside the meta tag because whatever the web crawler or search engine has extracted that may not have the words which we want to give or you can say whatever exact words say in the page we have mentioned the example of inheritance but we are not talking of the types of it right so we may consider say inheritance examples we have only considered inheritance but examples we haven't said as title so it will not be able to have the inheritance examples as the title fine 
we may not have considered subtypes fine but we have considered the inheritance an example so if we are giving such keyword directly in the meta keywords it will be able to get it very easily instead of parsing the whole text and getting the information right so it is faster fine so we should always have the head tag meta tag with keywords here i have only mentioned the character set but we should have because this is empty right this is a empty html the format i am showing you that what is there inside this html file right so we should consider the keywords okay head and head body now for body what we are having header tag we have just talked of for header of the section fine so header then after for navigation whatever links we want to provide a h r e f those things will be writing inside this navigation tag that is n a v article right in which we want to provide the sections so for that section and n section is there which are there inside the article fine then aside that means whichever we want that it is aside or you can say it is less related to the article which we are mentioning after this right so so what we can say is it is aside aside text we can say it is not uh, uh, left align or right align right it is said as aside text figure wherein we can consider the graphics or we can say video footer which is the which is the footer of the particular section right this is what we have talked of so aside tag and aside tag figure figure and footer footer and and at last and body and and html that is the structure of our html5 document wherein we want to consider header navigation tag article section aside figure footer which were not part of html4 right so let us see the example that is we can say for header what is that doc type html see all of you know that i have already told you but i am telling you it again so that will be having great effect on your mind and you will never forget to write it right okay so hash no what is that less than exclamation doc type html angle bracket over see we have to write all the tags inside the angle brackets that is the less than and greater than right that is always the case but here this is doc type so we have to give the exclamation otherwise this with two dashes starting and two dashes two dashes at the end is considered as the command in html4 let me show you how it is being returned oh cool. it is exclamation two dashes you can write anything here then after two dashes and greater than this will give us what this will give us the comment in html4 right that gives the comment in html4 what does that mean it will be ignored for parsing right it will be ignored for parsing that means the output for that will not be available in the browser right so we are looking at the header of html5 so for that html head tag inside that meta tag is there i used to say about the keywords so let us write them e words that is always the case right we can see here we'll write it as say we are representing html5 so i'll write that then 
why why only html file let me write it as ckpct let me write it as gtu right because for that also it is there data visualization right and many more things you can write that is the keywords for this particular page right okay will it give us anything as output no that is what we have seen in past lectures meta tag is useful for search engines or web crawlers it is not being useful to show something that is in the browser's output will not be able to see anything so what we are writing inside head tag not header tag head tag right title and we are writing it as example 1 then after we can say and head tag we are starting with the body tag so what is there in it header role is equal to banner h1 html5 document structure example and h1 what we want is we have said that header tag is used to give heading of of section right and for that we can use h1 to h6 tags so in that we are saying h1 tag that is the biggest header tag right so after that we are writing some tags that is p tag this page should be tried in this these these browsers right so that is what is the example let's see what it gives us right this was the comment which we have tried let me show you this is our header html in the bluefish html editor right because we are using that in our lab okay so the same contains are written as i have shown you in the ppt fine let us see its preview in the browser fine it says html5 document structure example and this page should be tried in this 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 browser right so that is what is being written header right now next thing what we want to learn is article HTML5 article. So, what do we write inside that? See, one is the first one that is less than exclamation dot type HTML. That must be there, right? HTML head should be there inside that meta tag should be there. Then after you can say title tag should be there. for meta tag keyword should be there see if you are not writing nobody is going to kill you nobody is going to give you any error but for web design it is preferred right so that is that now for the other structure we can say inside the body see you can say other things also i could have put it here i am only trying to show whatever is the required code for having the article right so so i am not considering other things but otherwise you have to write it okay so article article tag is starting for whatever articles we want to give in the html page so inside that we are having the section p tag once article can have multiple sections we can have multiple sections in a particular article isn't it section that is again one more section in that we are using the p tag what it says this is second section right so second section we are writing then after we can say an article at last we always have 
and body and and html fine so for this let us see the output in the browser for that the code is at here this is the article right this is the article uh, yes okay so let us preview that in the browser article once article can have multiple sections and this is the second section right you can see that ma'am when the sections are there we should be able to see it as header tags so that we can have the idea that new section is starting so so let us let us change this it is section the right it is not the bigger heading let me try to have this something like this let us change this one also that is for this second section uh oh we should not have such uh, two greater than or two less than right so take care of that here we are writing it as h4 fine now let us save this and see the preview in the browser oh one more is coming oh oh here one more is there right save it and see the preview in the browser fine so now you can say sections are there with the bold text it is up to you right the way you are showing it but it is considered as sections of the article right of this particular html file we'll see that in the detail just now we are only looking at a particular tags right which are the which are the tags new tags available in html 5 now one more thing which we would like to know is navigation that is nav tag for that what we can have is inside the body we can have the nav now in that we are using the unordered list we want to give the navigations that means from this page to which page it can go right so for that the links we want to provide right and we want to give the list also of the links so for that we can have the an ordered list or we can have the ordered list right so here i am having the unordered list inside that li that is a list tag inside that we are having a tag href is equal to hash or whatever you want to give the text which we want to display is html tutorial then you can say and a tag and li tag right this way we are giving this three links and that is inside unordered list and that unordered list is inside the navigation right that is nav fine so that's what we are having here yeah proper formatting right proper formatting so now let's see the view in the browser we can see that here three links are there list unordered list is there so we are able to see the bullets fine they are the navigations you can say here click it is not opening anything something wrong no it is not wrong it is in the href we have only provided hash we haven't provided the real url if you are providing that it will definitely open say http www.ckpct.ac.in right so let us preview that in the browser where it is for our fast html tutorial we have written right so here let me write that what happened o o o o o t t is remaining yeah t 
see k p c e t right p is remaining yeah now it is coming to we can say c k p c e t dot a c dot in right so now what we want to learn is html example for a side figure and footer so how we can have that doc type html it is but obvious html is there inside that we are having head tag meta tag title tag right okay inside the body now we are having a side a side and inside that we are having the p tag right you can say without these also we were writing the html4 and we were using the p tag we were using the head tag all those things we were using but that was not giving a particular structure it was wherever we, we want to use anything we could use but in this it is not like that in html5 we are having particular tags which can give you the information about that particular thing right so there are the particular tags introduced in the html5 to have okay this is figure this is footer this is header right something like this we want to provide fine so you can say document particular structure is being provided by the html5 right so we can say this is html five example right otherwise you will make mistake isn't it so for a side what do we write a side tag starts a side tag ends in between that we are writing it as this is a side part of the web page now with that i have written some more things that is image that is figure tags also i have introduced and footer also i have introduced to show the effect of this aside <coughs> let me show you that otherwise we could have simple other tags of html4 then also we can see the effect let me show you figure a line is equal to right figure for this tag we can have graphics or video inside that right so here i am giving it as image source is equal to http cpcet.ac.in images site logo cpp.png fine and giving the attributes like alt is equal to tutorial point width is equal to 200 height is equal to 200 and and figure and and now we want to know the tag that is footer tag footer is is the footer of section right it is not the footer of page okay so footer tag starting p tag inside that created by a href is equal to for giving the email address we are using it as mail to colon whatever is the email address is there right for example it is almni alumni at cpcet.ac.in right temporary we are using it okay temporary that means for this example only otherwise it is a real email address okay then angle bracket over whatever text we want to display that we have written that is alumni and a and p tag and footer tag is ended and body and html that is but obvious right so for this let me show you here so it is available here let us preview it in the browser we can see here this is a side part of the web page right this is our logo beautiful one and this is 
created by alumni. What is that? It is the footer of the section. I used to say that footer gives the footer of the section and not the not the footer of page, right? So how the difference? So here you can see the created by alumni and not at the end of this page. That is, you can say at, at this particular point, right? But we are able to see it as here. That is the created by alumni on keeping the mouse at this particular point where the alumni link is there. We can see at the down, down at that is over here. When I'll put the mouse, see here, you can see that mail to. ALMNI at ckpct.ac.in, right? At the down bottom of the page, left side bottom, we can see that mail to and whatever is the email address. When I click on that, it will open whatever is your email, uh, what you can say is email software in your system, right? So that will open here, it is opening, right? But I do not want to set, so I'll keep it as cancel, right? I do not want to have that. So we'll close that, right? OK, so this is the aside figure and footer, right? So that is what we wanted to start with in HTML5. Now in detail, we'll see how to work with HTML chart and HTML canvas, right? Or we can study start here also, right? No issue. Then after we'll go to the chapter, fine. Okay, let us study a bit about HTML5. Then we'll study about HTML5 chart also. Okay, let's see what it says. The HTML5 canvas element can be used to draw graphics on the page via JavaScript. So which tag we should use? Script, right? Script we should use, and for that, what we'll write file is equal to whatever is the file name, right? The canvas was originally introduced by Apple for the Mac OS dashboard, widgets, and to power graphics in Safari web browser. Later, it was adapted by Firefox. Google Chrome and Opera. Now the canvas is part of the new HTML5 specification for next generation web technologies. By default, the canvas element has 300 px of width and 150 px of height without any border and content. However, custom width and height can be defined using the CSS height and width property, whereas the border can be applied using the CSS border property. So what is there in the CSS coordinates? CSS, no, canvas coordinates, right? CSS will be used to define or change whatever coordinates are there, whatever attributes are there. Fine. So canvas coordinates. See, I am many a times speaking wrong and trying to tell you that it should not be this one, right? Because people are making the mistake when they see canvas, but still they are thinking of the CSS only, right? So canvases on which we can draw something, or you can say that we'll be using this tag to draw something, fine. So for that, these we have talked of this 300 is the width and 150 is the height, okay? But 
over here say canvas is a two dimensional rectangular area the coordinates of the top left corner of the canvas is 0 0 here for our xy coordinates we used to see it here right as 0 but here it is top left corner right that is 0 0 which is known as the origin and the coordinates of the bottom right corner are canvas width and canvas height. So, ma'am, you have written here 291 and 23. Does it mean that this canvas size is this one? No, it is not that. It says that when the canvas is there, if I am moving the mouse inside that, wherever the mouse is, it's coordinates are being displayed here that is 291 and 23 you can see here it is not changing see this is not html5 okay this is ppt which i am presenting okay so so on the html5 canvas in the browser will be able to see the coordinates where the mouse is moving fine so when you move mouse inside canvas environment it coordinates get change fine so for doing the canvas programming that is we want to draw something with canvas what is the structure that's what we want to know that is doc type html that is always the case html language is equal to en you can say till now we haven't seen fine the attributes are there you can put it we are specifying that this page is having the language that is English. Fine. Head tag is there. Meta, character set, UTF-8. And we can provide the keywords. Right? Then you can say title that is drawing on canvas. Script. Till now we haven't seen that. But now we'll see what it is having. You can see I have shown you the example wherein it was saying script. But file name was also there. That is script file is equal to say abc.js. That was there. Here it is not there. It is because here for the script is returned inside the script tag. We are not using any other external file. Fine. So, what we have to write inside this script tag for canvas drawing the common structure which will be useful to us. This will be using for our programs. So you can say that we are having window.onload. On loading, on loading this particular window, we have to do something. And that is being written as a function. And the code for that is written here only. So whenever this page is being loaded in the browser, at that time only, these two variables are getting initialized and they are variable canvas that is equal to, you can see variable canvas. Yes, it is not, see it is not Java where we are having integer, character, float, double, something like that. But here we are having as variable, variable canvas that is equal to document that is the document which we have loaded, right? Dot get element by ID get element by id and that is my canvas you can say for each and every page we'll be writing it as my canvas for our example we have followed this structure and whenever we'll be having our canvas tag there will be defining its its identification as my canvas and that is why we have given it as get element by id and we have provided it as my canvas. You can say that this document is in small letters. Then this dot, then get element E is capital, B is capital, by ID is capital, I. Why it is so? It is following the syntax, which is similar to that of our Java syntax, right? All of us know that in Java, in JavaScript also, most of the times, the standard functions names are the way each and every letter of each and every letter no first letter of each and every word will be capital 
like element is capital by b is capital i d i is capital right so get element by id and my canvas variable context that is equal to canvas dot get context of 2d we want to draw the 2d figures like line circle ellipse something like this we want to draw and for that we can say that we'll be having the variable context is equal to canvas dot get context for 2d right this is the basic structure for we can say html5 and canvas drawing right so very simple thing if you want to have that is the canvas if you want to have what we can write is you can say ma'am no script is there it's okay we are not doing anything we are only making the canvas so for that the structure what can be there it is canvas id is equal to my canvas width is equal to 500 height is equal to 200 and and canvas is it independent code no it is not independent code we can say we have already written here it was that where we have written the script script is written inside the hat tag right script is written inside the hat tag where we have said that on loading of this page how this function its definition is written in line right we haven't written function function name and calling that but it is written in line wherein we are having the canvas variable which is being assigned with the help of document dot get element id this is being defined in this is continuous code okay it is not independent code so what do we say is canvas id is equal to my canvas this this id is what we have to write inside this that is get element by id and in double quotes the same id is to be provided fine width and height whatever we want we can give otherwise it is by default that is width is 300 height is 200 fine so let us write this in the bluefish editor let's copy from here so you can see the way we are writing the things uh, we can have plus plus fine no issue for that oh yeah you can see that color is not coming yeah now it is that fine okay so let's write the canvas also okay canvas and id is must you may ignore the width and height so it will consider whatever the default width and height are there right so here let me save it in the our subject folder and this is what it is doing is canvas basic canvas okay let me write it as b dot html so enter now we can see the preview in the browser what it gives me where it is drawing let me close this something is missing let me let me see this one where it is here you can see some more code is written right otherwise here for the preview of our canvas can we see anything can it show anything no it is not showing anything right so what should we do is let us say that we are doing something that is we are drawing something fine very simple thing i have done it here is context dot rectangle that is rect 50 50 200 100 the coordinates i have given we know that in each and every language it is like this only that is uh, what you can say starting point then after what should be the length and width that way we are providing right so this is what we are providing here 
and after that we have to provide context dot stroke so it will draw the stroke or you can say it will draw that particular line connecting this whatever coordinates are given and it will make the make the what rectangle right without that will not be able to see the canvas isn't it so let me show you the preview here, right here we can see the what you can say is the rectangle fine we can see the rectangle okay